Um, hello, uh, grace and peace be multiplied to you, uh, in the love and the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ reign in your hearts, uh, and mercy, uh, uh, be multiplied to you as well. Uh, so, uh, hopefully, uh, everyone's off to a good start, uh, in their days, every single day, so, um, it's all about your attitude and all honesty, though. So, uh, just tell yourself that this is gonna be a great day. This is gonna be a good day, and it will be a great day, and it will be a good day. As this in your, this is in your mind. Don't be down, don't be downers, and don't be mopey about these things and situations. Just uh, have uh, be very thankful that you woke up. As many individuals did not wake up from their slumber, but they woke up and held themselves. So. Obviously, you're a lot better. You're doing a lot better than these individuals who are in hell right now, as you're getting ripped to pieces and torn to limb from limb by these demons themselves, uh, that were uh, ambitious to ensure that they could cause as much pain and, and judgments on them as, as possible. So, uh, uh, basically, I'm just going to talk about this video uh, about certain things and certain uh, aspects that uh, I could have forgotten, but. Uh, it's just going to be the same types of video uh, what I've been talking about in the past uh, about breaking all curses uh, and ensuring that the curses uh, that are actually on you uh, are, should not be on you as some of these things in themselves if you could think back to a time when um, you didn't have some of these ailments on you obviously right there uh, you found out and you could discern that uh, that that demon or that whatever it was uh, did not have any legality and that demon or curse or what obviously it was a curse uh, was not on you at, at that time and in that point so uh, I just want individuals to actually focus uh, on that as uh, this in itself exposes the actual demonic activity that is happening in your life uh, as well as recognizing that all these demons themselves that are ganging up on you uh, should not at all be doing that in, in itself because even then uh, there was a period of time when none of these uh, demons themselves uh, would be so ambitious and, and so uh, malicious and harassing you uh, in general for whatever ailments that they could be even they could be harassing you right now uh, about something new but uh, obviously prior to this uh, there was or prior to the ailment and infirmity itself there was a period in time where uh, there were uh, you weren't being harassed so um, uh, just focus on that uh, and deliver yourselves from uh, unnecessary suffrages uh, and things of, of that nature just because uh, uh, you can and, and, and in all honesty is just completely unnecessary because you can and you can uh, break these uh, uh, these these curses themselves as I mentioned in the post how uh, that you have there's the main counterpart that you actually take out but there's other counter uh, there was other uh, demons that this individual was actually working with so obviously uh, in, in a video of, uh, of win worldies uh, he, he actually made a, a post or not a post he actually made a, a, a like a sermon where uh, he casted out big pride but uh, obviously uh, pride was still in there uh, but this was called little pride so there, there's obviously more than one component uh, when they're actually working this work to destroy you and working this work to ensure that they actually are successful as Christ himself is sending this, these judgments themselves to perfect your faith as well as it being completely unnecessary but uh, nevertheless, these uh, things are actually happening because of it. So there's uh, obviously more than one uh, spirit and demon, and even I myself had to deliver myself from the more than one spirits and demons that are, that are actually working together. Whereas uh, I go through the same things as, as this video itself has mentioned, where I was like, I thought I just casted you out. I was like, why are you still harassing my life? And then they're like, well, it, it's because uh, I, I stumbled this uh, upon this knowledge while I was actually while, while I watched it, and it's because little pride was still in there. So. Uh, honestly, uh, these these demons do have an order. These demons are malicious, and these de these, these demons are uh, bent on destroying you. They're not going to be convinced otherwise. You're not going to be able to reason with them, to pacify them. The only way that you can reason with them is by casting them out uh, in Jesus Christ's name. Uh, other than that, there's absolutely no uh, means uh, for you to even conversate, uh, to speak to, or to just... Um, 
or to just uh, communicate with them as these devils themselves are completely reprobate uh, and degenerate you know obviously these individuals are not at all anything remotely uh, godly or what they used to be prior to the fall so uh, they're completely degenerate completely full of hate uh, towards the human race and uh, and that's basically all you really have to uh, hearken to so so break all of these curses as these in themselves were actually curses that were placed on you uh, and uh, this is why you're actually suffering with these ailments uh, after this event actually happened so just break these curses and your Leo grounds uh, is that they have to leave so and their Leo grounds themselves is that they have to leave so both of you are on the same page and both of you have come to the understanding that you broke the curse which was the Leo grounds so they have no uh, option but to go and that's it so I've, oftentimes individuals do want to be delivered from certain ailments and certain uh, problems inside of their lives uh, but these devils themselves don't actually want to go so obviously they have grounds to actually stay because of that so use the truth to your advantage that way you're actually able to um, be delivered from these types of things as the truth in itself is absolute and solid there's nothing that any of these demons can obviously say to twist or distort uh, uh, or morph the truth into their own uh, agenda and, and liking this is essentially what they're actually doing as the truth in itself is 100% solid and 100% absolute so uh, there's absolutely nothing that these individuals can um, um, do to fight against the truth as uh if you were to use the truth to fight against the devil in itself all these scriptures would come up to expose the fact that the devil is just a fraud uh the devil is a bully and the devil likes to harass uh and he likes to build his empire on a bunch of lies and if uh, you actually believe any of his lies you'll be suckered into it and you'll be sucked into his vortex uh, of lies themselves so obviously this in itself exposes it when you actually test it out and you actually try it out uh for you to actually use the truth to combat the devil and to actually fight the devil even just with ailments themselves to as the scriptures themselves are 100 percent solid uh just like how it's written in, in in matthew uh i think the great commission that christ gave to us uh, it's the last chapter but um how he said cast out devils uh obviously that is a solid uh truth and absolute truth that you can cast out devils and that is your order and your charge that you can raise the dead and that is your order and charge and grounds that you can cleanse the lepers and that is your order and charge so uh at face value this is pretty obvious and pretty simple to grasp but uh when these ailments and these things end up happening in individuals is lives obviously they get ganged up on it because they actually get ganged up uh people are uh generally do get overwhelmed by these types of things so these curses in themselves this is a curse in itself for you to actually be harassed and ganged up on so uh just break this curse entirely as these individuals should not uh be uh ganging up on you harassing you overwhelming you as there was a point in, in time in your life prior to this even happening so there was some sort of legality that you let into these devils themselves uh to allow uh them to actually begin ganging up on you to allow them to begin harassing you uh bombarding you and, and tempting you and enticing you with all various types of desires uh, and just things of that nature but uh i know these things seem pretty self-explanatory and pretty honest to grasp but i mean pretty honest pretty simple to grasp but um you seriously have to be making consistent efforts and applying yourselves diligently for this uh, to be deeply Im embedded in your mind, your heart, your soul, your will, and your emotions uh, because these tests are going to come to actually uh, test the fires and quality of your uh, test the quality of your work and if you're not really applying yourself you're more or less just wasting your time you're obviously not going to pass any of these tests so uh, i want you to actually honestly grasp that that this is going to require grace but this is also going to require you completely sanctifying yourselves away from the world as the, the secular lie in itself uh is all lies either way you only have one option and that's to believe the truth not to dumb yourself down and to believe the lies and the secular lies uh that the world often promotes and and uh claims uh, to actually be truth and obviously we know that it's not truth and that's just pretty obvious and just pretty self-explanatory that every individual in the kingdom of darkness and in the secular lie is out to get you and out to kill you so uh 
hearken and lay it to heart as people are not really in this uh, way of thinking because uh, they still entertain the, the shows that are trying to kill them. They still entertain the foods that are trying to kill them. Uh, they still entertain the foods, that, uh, they still eat the foods that have the, the, uh, the human embryo kidney that gives it the flavor in itself. So obviously, uh, at face value, it's disgusting, but... Uh, the the individuals are still listening to the same music that is trying to kill them, and, and individuals are listening to and promoting uh, witchcraft inadvertently, uh, especially when they just individuals just ask them, "Where did you get your coat?" Obviously, this in itself is like promoting uh, whatever uh, uh, brand that you actually are wearing. So, in uh, short, you're actually promoting this if you actually say good things. Uh, about it so even if the company in itself has uh demonic roots and, and and witchcraft and is rooted in witchcraft and promoting witchcraft obviously you become one of their little slaves and one of the little promoters who is actually promote that's why you shouldn't uh at all be buying any of these products because you're promoting these abominations and, and you're giving these individuals is more um uh people to actually be cursed so uh, it's a lot more than just money this is obviously just uh about um uh, you seriously uh, aligning yourself and destroying everything that has to deal with the secular life so just because it's it's, it's evil and, and more or less just uh, it's just lies either way it's just completely illogical and for an individual who actually claims to believe in the truth or has some sort of moral integrity or, or uprightness or righteousness uh, or a moral compass for them to actually even uh, continue uh, to be even honest and have an honest heart and then still be entertaining the things of the, of the secular lives completely uh, it's like a contradiction it's, it's a paradox in itself so uh, obviously an individual who believes in the truth is an honest person and just says things that is honest uh, these types of individuals would just look at this secular lie and be like, wow, this is all 100% garbage and this is all 100% lies. But realistically, it would be on the other individuals' his own, uh, not integrity, but uh, how they actually are, are able to cope uh, with these types of uh our truths and realities as some individuals will flat out just reject it all and live in denial just because uh they're uh, a lot weaker and weak-minded than they actually think not to say that individuals are, are calling them out and saying that oh you're a weak-minded individual uh but this is just uh what it realistically is as it's not really rational at all for individuals to begin acting in, in uh the manner that they actually act in uh but it's 100 percent um Uh, what would be the word? Uh, it, it's 100% it's how they've been taught, how they've learned, and what they generally do to uh, to uh, to accept truths. Uh, as some individuals are, are not at all in this way of thinking where they actually um, uh, have admitted that the truth is never changing, so it's always going to be the same. So there's realistically no point in you living in denial, and more or less, it, it's just a, a terrible custom to even have, or a, t a terrible habit to even have to be the type of individual that is just cannot face reality uh, and and things of, of that nature. So uh, seriously, lay it to heart and seriously hearken to it, just because. Um, uh, individuals are not in this way of thinking as well as they're generally very uh, ignorant that their own coping mechanisms and their own defense uh, mechanisms are actually uh, causing most of their problems and of their lives they're not really able to actually uh, cope and, and function with, with certain things as uh, where, when an individual and their family actually ends up dying some individuals cope with the death uh, by turning into alcoholics uh, This is, obviously this is error in itself and, and this should actually expose uh, how uh, destructive your, your coping mechanisms truly are to your soul, to your mind, to your soul, your will, and your emotions. So obviously these things are destructive and just uh, not, not to be disrespectful or to be uh, or rude because I'm not coming from that type of background or I'm saying it out of that type of uh, spirit or, or way of thinking. But uh, there's only one truth and because there's only one truth, 
uh, you should honestly recognize that you don't really have an option but to believe it and to just uh, look at things rationally and not really be uh, the type of individual to just uh, be illogical but to dumb yourself down uh, and uh, to think in that manner any longer just because uh, there's n- it's nothing it's like believing that 2 plus 2 is 5 there's other individuals on the face of this earth who, has, who, has, who have come across this knowledge and who have come across this truth and they see it and they're just as rational as the person that's trying to get to you but uh, obviously you need to be a little bit more encouraged uh, encouraged to actually uh, take the leap of faith uh, as all of this is just uh, faith based in itself so uh, that's all faith based in itself for you to actually be able to recognize uh, and to hearken that these demons should not be ganging up on you and harassing you and that you could actually be delivered from this permanently and never have any of these uh, ailments and, and drama and troubles uh, again just because uh, there was a point and a period of uh, a time in your life uh, where you didn't have any of these ailments but obviously subtly you you admitted defeat and because you actually admitted defeat you just gave up the fight and honestly this is what it realistically is there's going to come a time in your life where you're not going to have to fight anymore about that certain ailment because you've truly been delivered and you truly have been set free uh but um you're still going to have to fight other battles as well uh just because uh, this is never ending uh and and you have to get better and just lose the good spirits inside of your vessel uh, and inside of your temple because it's all done by grace through faith. So we'll take the leap of faith, hearken, lay it to heart, and uh, uh, figure out a more excellent way. Uh, just uh, look at how you used to be before any of these ailments and troubles and drama actually entered inside of your life and that uh, should expose it right away for you to actually be able to recognize and to actually see uh, that you actually did do something to actually let this legality in and it's sometimes it could just be as simple as you actually believing that this is how your life should be so obviously it's all based on superstition but just because you believe that this is how it's supposed to be you don't know the difference to know that it's not supposed to be like that and you could just think back uh, to a time where you actually weren't suffering in, in, the, in these ailments and in these manners. Uh, but um, like that, right away, you should be able to recognize it to actually see that uh, I'm in error in hindsight. And obviously, you need more help than you actually think. So uh, hearken uh, and uh, give it to Christ and, and pray about it. I know this video is not really meant to actually be talking about this or to be focused on this as the main focus that I'm actually uh, trying to uh, be centered around is on the kingdom of light and the kingdom of heaven itself uh, just because of, of the work that you're actually supposed to be doing to reap the rewards to ensure that you actually are, are getting the heavenly jewels uh, and recognizing that it's not at all about the jewels themselves but it's actually about you genuinely wanting to get better so uh, I know I say that I've been saying that often but uh, you have to honestly apply this in all aspects because there's some certain aspects in your life uh, where you're specifically uh, and intently doing it uh, just because of the blessings and just because of the rewards you're not really doing it uh, because of your uh, always uh, of your heart and your moral heart concerning it concerning morality but you're doing it just because you actually want the blessings which uh, you're going to get rebuked and you're not even going to get the results that you even want and that you even have desire to actually get so uh, obviously this is uh, about deep investigation and, and truly recognizing that you know what uh, I need to let go of certain things I need to actually recognize that I'm not really uh, as centered and as firm and as ground as I think uh, but this just still ties back with the same things that I've just been mentioning how you're supposed to be breaking all the curses uh, that are on you uh, to ensure that um, there is no legal grounds that way these devils don't ever say no we have grounds to stay we have grounds to stay you can't uh, force us to, to stop or, or you can't force us uh, to do this because we can stay here obviously there's other aspects and other things for an individual to recognize as well as certain things are have nothing to do uh, with you whatsoever certain things have to do with have to deal with ancestral sins uh, generational curses 
and the sins of the fathers, these in themselves have nothing to do with you whatsoever, but you're still going to have to suffer, and you're still going to have to pay for uh, the, the, the evil of your, of your bloodline and, and your family tree. So, obviously all this stuff is easily avoidable and completely unnecessary, but you have to obviously use the truth to your advantage to actually break and use your own legal grounds to actually ensure that these uh, unnecessary weights and unnecessary suffrages that are holding you back uh, from running towards uh, the prize uh, that is Jesus Christ are not stopping you whatsoever or hindering you as these things in themselves are actually the main um, uh, reasonings as to why individuals are not actually able to progress to move forward and advance as quickly as they obviously would if they were in heaven as that in itself obviously exposes all the limitations that are inside of your mind and all the limitations that uh, are your on your flesh and on your body itself as uh, all of this is just clearly demonic anything contrary to your heavenly image and what you would be like in heaven right now is 100 percent demonic it would be heavily dependent on an individual's actual faith uh for them to actually be delivered from these types of things as people typically uh, worry about the how is god going to do it uh and not really on the uh, god is going to do it part so they make this how into an idol so this in itself is a curse in itself as well uh to be focused on it uh, obviously a face value is 100% a curse so uh, break these curses uh, and and break the curse of, of being forgetful as well so in Jesus Christ's name amen as individuals are generally cursed uh, with being forgetful hasty impulsive uh, adulterers uh, fornicators uh, promoting witchcraft and other things like that individuals are cursed with these things so uh, you have to be uh, diligent and you have to be seriously breaking all of these curses or just continue to suffer for no reason even though you have the authority and the power to break all of these curses so at face value obviously is for no reason whatsoever so uh hearken uh lay it to heart uh, and uh and yeah i mean that's basically it about that uh, I'm actually going to talk about my post now just to really uh, get you to understand what I'm actually saying uh, and, and where I'm actually, uh, what's going to be the general direction that, uh, you know, I'm just going to let the Holy Spirit talk and that's basically going to be it. He should be already guiding you. cast all demons out be just because you took the main demon out does not mean their counterparts are still not in there so we have to break all these curses up so obviously all the ones that are working together to do this specific work of harassment reoccurringness uh persistence all these things and then even going deeper into the actual ground and taking these deeper roots out uh have to all be all these curses have to be broken and all these things have to be uh excommunicated and and just uh out of your life that way you could actually return uh and be restored to how you were before the thing even came inside of your life and started harassing you so honestly at face value this thing just came inside of your life uh and it started harassing you but it's been happening for such a long time that you've just uh admitted defeat and you're just like this is how it's supposed to be but if you would look at it in the same manner as how you would look at it when it first started it will be able to help you out to recognize that this thing could just leave uh, when uh, as and you could be in the same exact manner uh, as you were prior to this thing actually working inside of you as most of these angels of lights themselves and hidden sins themselves uh, you already been uh, operating in these sins themselves but they weren't really a problem uh, to your actual flesh uh, until uh, recently so obviously it probably took like maybe a month or two for these types of things to actually happen inside of your life for you to actually notice uh, some sort of problem and some sort of ailment on your flesh itself for you to ask yourself what is really happening to my body and what is really happening to uh my way of thinking so this was already happening uh for months on end maybe even years or decades and you have to return in short prior to that 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 hidden sin that angel of light uh 
ever entering inside of your body so uh, i know this is uh very uh not this is very broad uh but there's very uh, specific uh and hidden uh, things that are burrowed deep inside of your character that you've been acting like this in this manner from ever since you were a little kid as I'm sure there's many individuals who still throw temper tantrums uh, as old as they may be as some of them have not really grown out of this way of thinking and, and they still lash out uh, and they still behave them in a manner where uh, it's completely childish and just uh, completely uh, bitter whereas uh, man, I don't know how to explain it. Or when people begin name calling, obviously that in itself is something that individuals just can obviously see at at face value and just be like, oh yeah, this is a completely childish. Or just just in general, the more obvious, just childish behavior where individuals will just make funny faces or just stick out their tongues to another individual who's clearly an adult. Both of these individuals just one of the individuals just doesn't care. I have had, I've had people stick their tongues out uh, at me for so many times. It's just not even funny it's just like why are you even sticking out your tongue i'm a grown adult i'm not a little child anymore i don't even know what the, what the premise and the the concept of you even sticking your tongue out to is for you to actually be doing that it's just like individuals just revert back to their actual uh uh initial state as how they would actually cope uh with another individual who has obviously gotten on their nerves who has obviously frustrated them and who was just uh really getting them angry so these individuals have never really grown out of these ways of thinking uh, and these individuals have never really uh, uh learned uh to cope when another individual frustrates them uh and they become impatient uh and they think that uh that they should act in this manner so obviously these individuals are heavily ignorant on actually being able to cope uh with certain stressful situations and just situations and, and uh in general as uh these individuals are clearly not as as adults or as grown up as they would obviously like to think these individuals are generally uh, just typically childish. So uh, I know this is going to sound crazy, though, but I'm sure you go, you have some of these childish uh, ways of thinking and some of these things that you yourselves have obviously are still functioning and, and uh, uh, still doing until this day that you learned from when you were a little kid. Uh, and this is all going to take you just attacking first and asking questions later because it doesn't really matter how, why, what, when, and where. It just matters for you not to actually have any of these demons inside of you anymore as these were fiery darts. Uh, and these were your your mannerisms and your your ways to actually cope uh, when your brother or sister hit you or when your family uh, didn't let you eat chocolate cake for dinner so realistically it, these types of things are, are exactly like that so obviously your mom and dad know better but uh individuals are not really uh in that way of thinking to be able to recognize it to actually uh be able to understand that uh God himself obviously does know better, but uh, you're all also in the wrong for just uh, acting in that manner and just coping with things uh, in such a manner where these things, uh, you're too old to be acting like this in this manner, to be so childish, to be gossiping, to be talking about another individual, uh, to be stealing from another person like you're five years old and things of that nature and just, uh, and, and throwing temper tantrums and not even throwing temper tantrums but just lashing out and sticking your tongue out on another individual so uh seriously hearken to it uh and honestly individuals do need to grow up and individuals seriously need to give it to christ uh that way they're not uh acting so childish and just looking uh, just foolish and because realistically another person doesn't really care but uh they're just uh, used to actually getting another individual angry um by actually acting in this manner or just their brothers and sisters or just making fun of another individual or just things like that in general the individuals are typically uh still very much grounded in and coping when another individual has managed to uh uh make them uh impatient and frustrated though but this video is obviously not meant for you to actually uh, glorify this in itself this video is meant for you to actually uh, glorify the kingdom of light in itself for, for a more excellent way to actually read wisdom in itself to cleanse you from the inside out 
and they just get rid of all these unnecessary childish uh, behaviors in itself as individuals are just uh, some people most if not all every individual still has re retained some of these childish uh, behaviors so uh, let it go give it to Christ and pray for a more excellent way I know you don't want to believe that some things are demonic, but that's Leviathan preventing you from advancing and fighting. You should not at all be letting anything demonic on you because your camp is heaven and, and that your heavenly image is the exact same. So use the truth to advance on all spirits resisting you and without your acknowledgement. As there are gangs of demons ganging up on you just because you have accepted their harassments and activity of reoccurring persistence and resisting behavior and no other reason so obviously what is being implied is that you are not using the truth to fight back and completely stop it be because everyone in some way shape or form is suffering in this manner so break these curses as there are more than one that are working together and one demon is still too many as this is not normal whatsoever so obviously it's not normal whatsoever because prior to this one demon being inside of your life you're perfectly fine there has been a, a time in your life and a period in your life where you where this one demon and these demons uh, wasn't inside of your life so that in itself should automatically expose it uh, and you should obviously uh, just recognize it and see that uh, it's all unnecessary you really don't have to suffer at all the more you think that you have to suffer or the more you think that these har these harassments uh, are should be reoccurring or what was it it wasn't even that the more you get pacified and the more you get content with these ailments and, and these harassments, uh, the, obviously the more successful these demons are getting until finally you don't even want to fight anymore. You've just admitted defeat and you just said this is going to be my life. But you should not at all be letting anything on, demonic on you just because your camp is in heaven. So obviously the enemy camp, when you're walking on the face of this earth, individuals obviously have come to the knowledge and the understanding that there's a... Um, uh, an enemy camp but there's the the u.s army headquarters so this would be well not your headquarters but your this that's quite inferior your headquarters is, is in heaven so in the same manner where none of these demonic things that are creeping on you and slithering on you and uh and doing these types of things should be on you just apply the first seven principles to the exact same thing with the spiritual things uh and just get delivered uh, entirely from all of these uh ailments as none of these things all of these things even continuing to to pester you and to bother you uh is all unnecessary you just have to take your actual authority and and your legal grounds to actually be able to just, just end it right away i know individuals are not really in this way of thinking with uh they think that they actually have to they think it's maybe a, an ongoing process where they actually have to get better some things are uh, a process in itself like the works to actually work for the heavenly jewels but deliverance in itself if christ was the one walking on the face of the earth he was just healing people excuse me he was healing people instantaneously I mean, obviously, there's no really excuse. That should be your truth that you should use to it to to your advantage to ensure that you actually do get delivered. So, uh, lay it to heart and just uh, figure it out. So break these curses. There are more than one that are working together, and one demon is still too many. So you are cursed if you think this is normal. When there was a time when they didn't harass you, proving that they have legal grounds, or it's more or less could be superstition. As the Viatin himself is burrowed deep inside the way of thinking and confusions in their life that are stopping them from understanding and recognizing that they have a lot of problems. Leviathan in itself is going to be the main reason why you're not actually able to recognize that you actually do indeed have a lot of problems. Uh, even more than you think, if you were to actually just uh, view things as Christ actually sees them, you'll be able to recognize and to actually see that you have a lot of problems. And His uh, His holiness is a lot uh, higher than what your actual uh, standard of holiness actually is. So uh, this in itself should obviously... Uh, open your eyes for you to actually be able to recognize that yeah Leviathan was in my life and he was actually stopping me from recognizing that God's standard of holiness is a lot higher than my standard so we'll break the curse of Leviathan uh, and all the curses that are working together to ensure that they would keep your eyes blinded from God's holiness uh, that way you could actually move in the right direction uh, and just stop the unnecessary uh, uh, things that are actually happening inside of your life and just the the foolish ways of thinking that is completely erroneous and no real truth uh, to it whatsoever so
As grace of being able to obey Christ and virtue to do good is a grace. What is sent to the Jewish people who have accepted Christ as Lord is by default and so obvious sin to us. Therefore, you are 100% obligated to obey. So why can't you hear? So make sure Jesus Christ can dwell in your sea of love for him. So uh, that one was just good. As individuals should definitely have a sea of love uh, uh, for Jesus uh, for Jesus Christ that you could actually swim in because you love him that much. But obviously I'm implying that you should obviously be obeying the law of Moses. Just like I was reading in the scriptures, whoever loves me uh, will obey my commandments. So if you love him, you're going to obey his commandments as well as the law of Moses in itself because these types of things are still sin to the Jewish people, meaning that it's always going to be sin. There's absolutely no way around it unless you want to just live in denial just so you can continue eating your pork. Uh, it's completely foolish and completely stupid for individuals to actually be able to recognize uh, and see. Uh, so that in itself is pretty self-explanatory, pretty honest, it's uh, pretty easy to grasp. But, um, uh, I'm just going to keep talking about your heavenly image as this in itself should obviously expose uh, all of the demonic uh, activities and entities that are inside of your life that are actually limiting uh, you uh, heavily while you're walking on the face of uh, on this of this earth. So obviously, you none know, of these things should be harassing you whatsoever, just because you belong to the kingdom of light itself, and because you belong to the kingdom of light, uh, there everything that is in the kingdom of light it belongs to you. So obviously, healings, uh, deliverances, uh, wholeness, uh, and and just being perfect as Christ Himself is actually perfect. Uh, new body parts and, and just being uh, in the exact same uh, manner where you would actually be functioning uh, and operating in uh, in heaven itself. Anything contrary to that is obviously all demonic. They're obviously going to say uh, to, to not be uh, that you can't do that. We have legal grounds and other things like that. Just don't listen to it. Just break the curses and break the legal grounds themselves. Uh, that way they actually are, are forced to leave and you could actually function in the same manner uh, as you will function in heaven. As you're supposed to be using the truth to your advantage uh, to ensure, as this in its, just use this truth in itself to actually uh, help you function in the same manner as you will function uh, down here on earth as you would in heaven. So uh, that's pretty easy. It's pretty simple to honestly grasp for you to actually be able to recognize and to see that these things in themselves are actually uh, going to work you're actually going to win the fight if you use the truth to your advantage but you're going it's not that you're not going to be met with resistance you should be prepared for the resistance themselves and use the truth for the resistance as you're going to win and uh, the truth is never changing there's not going to be any single thing that anyone on the face of this earth can never do to change uh the truth and it's just a losing fight for anyone who tries to resist it just like how darkness loses to light every single time uh you have to be willing to turn on the light for uh you to so you have to be willing to actually fight the darkness itself uh for you to actually win these fights as these wishes in themselves are definitely going to come inside of your life to just resist you and to stop this uh, in general but uh there's absolutely nothing they can do if you actually use the truth and you continue to push through and using the truth in all aspects that you have to use it to because uh you need to so at face value there should be absolutely nothing stopping you from actually attaining this uh christly and heavenly goal that christ has for you for your life the only real thing that will really play a role uh, in your in your actual deliverances themselves and you actually being completely whole uh is you not using the truth to your advantage and you actually believe in the lies that these witches and these devils and these satanists actually say when i've already been expressly clear about what the truth actually is and because i've been clear about what the truth actually is it's not going to change these devils themselves are just going to throw whatever they can at you to ensure that, that they could actually uh get you to stop uh functioning and, and thinking in that manner Uh, because obviously now you're uh, you're taking their obviously they just don't want that in general they're trying to destroy you they genuinely hate you uh, and and that's basically about it. 
So uh, I know these things sound pretty easy and pretty simple to grasp, uh, but it's seriously going to take diligent application and uh, honest efforts and consistent efforts for you to genuinely be uh, forming this into an actual habit, as well as giving it to Christ and praying for a more excellent way. That way he could actually help you uh, uh, and, uh, and act in the same manner as how you act in heaven down here uh, on earth. As I've already been speaking uh, about how to be sinless on earth as it is in heaven, uh, all these legal grounds and tempters and things that entice you uh, should not at all be existing in your life whatsoever, as they're not at all existing to your life in heaven, but just because these devils themselves come inside of your life, they try to pacify you and try to get you into this way of thinking of accepting their harassments as being 100% normal. Uh, but just focus on the kingdom of light. Focus on the limitations that are causing you to be limited and and, uh, and to not function in the same manner as you will function in heaven. As all this stuff is are angels of lights and hindrances that are not based on anything truth. It's not on anything truth. It's not based on anything true in itself. As the truth is never changing. Uh, and obviously all this stuff that is on you they've convinced you that these things should obviously be there and they've convinced you that you should be limited uh, just because you're on earth or some other excuse or just some other uh, iniquity or some other legality inside of your life uh, that they were actually working towards to ensure that they could obviously uh, hinder you and distort your image and change it 100% completely different than how you'd actually be uh, in heaven as this seems to be their main goal they try to deceive you as much as possible to ensure that they could obviously stay inside of your life uh, but uh, I've just been speaking about using the truth uh, to your own advantage and that in itself should just be powerful in itself to ensure that you never have to deal with any of these uh, things demons uh uh, hindrances, limitations, and, and just anything contrary to your heavenly image uh, in itself uh, should not at all be um, in your life, continue to be in your life. Uh, and just, I seriously need individuals to truly hearken to that, that your life that is here on earth should be the exact same as how it would be in heaven. Anything other than that, so now you're going to use that truth uh, in itself to ensure that you are actually able to... Um, to live and function in the same manner as you will function down here on earth as you would uh, in heaven there's no other truth than that uh, that's probably one of the highest truths that you're going to get for a long time so uh, that's that's something that you should definitely focus towards uh, and, and lean towards and anything other than that and anything contrary to that because I'm sure they're going to come inside of your life uh, to try to convince you that they have legal grounds to uh, distort this uh, and to limit you 100% uh, completely contrary to what you would actually be like uh, in heaven your way of living your house living uh, even just going into the supernatural and just conversing with angels themselves uh, just because you actually would do that in heaven itself and just things like that being able to travel and going and, and visiting heaven uh, because obviously God is not going to resist you whatsoever for anything that you obviously do so uh, nudge the body of Christ and, and intercede strategically for the individuals that you obviously have to intercede for that way you could truly be, uh, that way the whole body of Christ is helping one another out and, and just being in the same manner as I would actually be in heaven. As well as all this stuff is just moving forward and progressing itself uh, forward and you're actually uh, working and looking at these things uh, with honest eyes that you truly do have a, a luxury and a privilege uh, to be able to be working towards these heavenly um uh, jewels themselves so uh, obviously this is when have you ever heard these types of things before obviously you haven't heard any of these uh goals or, or, or things of that nature but it's already been implied in the scriptures where it says that no eye has seen and no ear has heard uh what god has prepared for those that love him so these are the the uh the works that we're going to be working towards to ensure that we actually reap these benefits and rewards themselves not that the rewards matter or what these things where we never imagined matter but uh, that we're actually doing these types of works and that we're actually um, are growing and maturing and placing the emphasis uh, 
and not emphasizing the jewels themselves and the things that God has for us. So uh, this is pretty uh, simple to grasp and pretty honest uh, to grasp that uh, this is going to take di discipline and, and obedience uh, to ensure that you're actually able to to work these works and, and to just uh, being uh, applying yourselves and actually making the, the right efforts that you obviously have to make and taking all the advancements and, and the precautions that you have to make uh, to ensure that you could actually function in the same manner as how you will function down here on earth as you would uh, in heaven. So... Uh, that's basically the whole premise. That's basically my whole priority for you as well. To ensure that you actually are living in this way of thinking because there's no other truth other than that in itself. Uh, so advance uh, and dwindle the numbers of the enemy uh, to ensure that these... Uh, that the heaven and earth look like a mirror in itself. So individuals are actually... Uh, that, that should be the overall goal and the overall premise. Uh, that earth is like heaven and heaven is like... Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to say heaven is like earth. Uh, earth is still quite inferior and heaven is superior. So, hearken uh, and honestly uh, lay that to heart. I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit what he wants to talk about. He says, nah, just spiritual warfare uh, concerning all of these things. Just because uh, the devils have lied to individuals to actually have them believe that their life, that they're living here on earth, should be anything contrary than what their life would be like in heaven. So, uh, obviously, you use this truth to your advantage to fight in spiritual warfare to ensure that you uh, are actually able to function and, and live in the same manner as you would live in heaven. Uh, just to get rid of all the dross uh, and all the other things that are actually happening, not things, but all the other demonic activities that are actually happening inside of your life that are totally unnecessary. Uh, I mentioned earlier how you have all the all the legal grounds to this is your legal grounds in itself, and you have all the all the legal grounds to ensure that you actually break all the curses that you have to break, uh, because you can. So uh, that, in short and in essence, is basically about it. Now it really would take you. I mean, honestly, it's not even anything about uh, you actually ever thinking that you're exempt from. Uh, disobeying Christ or you're ever exempt from obeying Christ himself you already have come to the knowledge and understanding that Christ himself is actually life so anything that he has said you must actually act out at I thought in and actually function in at all times because this is all that there is uh, if you're being in, tempted or enticed to go contrary to what is actually commanded uh from Christ himself obviously you need deliverance from these types of things so uh, break these curses uh, and give it to Christ 100%. Uh, seriously meditate on that and think about your actual uh, heavenly life and, and your limitations uh, that would not be in heaven that are on you right now. And just think about how you would actually be able to function. As individuals generally have this uh, way of thinking where if they go to heaven, they'll be able to heal, they'll be able to go to the body parts room, uh, they'll be able to walk on water, and they'll be able to do all of these things and converse with people and, just, uh, and to eat heavenly food and to just do things of that nature so well obviously that in itself exposes all the all the the demonic activities that are happening inside of real life uh that are contrary to the truth uh and contrary to what god himself has already come has already explained to us that is truth and that there's no other truth other than what is written in the, other than what is written in the scriptures themselves and what god himself has revealed to man himself There is no truth other than Christ. Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. I really don't have anything else to actually talk about. These things are pretty self-explanatory in itself. Uh, as well as uh, this is general direction for people to actually uh, function and move towards, as I already said, the same life that they will live in heaven. Obviously, this is, is the same life that they should be living here on earth. In heaven, there is obviously you would always be obeying the, the commandments of Christ Himself. There's no element of temptation to tempt you to ever uh, go contrary to this image. Now, obviously, make the advancements and preparations to actually see your Father's face in heaven and to actually talk with your heavenly Father in heaven as well as the saints the prophets and the old testament saints and uh the prophets in the scriptures themselves and jesus christ uh and the holy spirit himself 
to make sure all these advancements and preparations are actually met to ensure that you're actually able to do th these types of works uh, themselves. So, um, what else was I actually going to talk about? I think that about wraps it up. I don't really have much else to actually go uh, in depth on about these heavenly things. Obviously, all of this is going to be spiritual warfare. You're going to have to use the truth as this in itself gets placed in the back pocket, and even in my videos, as well as God has not commanded a single soul to do wickedly. These things generally get placed in the back pocket uh, as uh, the witches and the people in the kingdom of darkness don't like uh, these types of messages getting out to use the truth to our advantage because they know they're going to lose. So they already admitted that, that, that they can't do anything to beat God and they can't do anything to beat the truth. So uh, use it to your advantage. Uh, look at it at face value that they would even attempt to try to uh, distort it and to try to stop you from actually using the truth to fight them because you know that the truth is absolute and the truth is never going to change. Uh, so use it to your advantage. as well as the heavenly jewels themselves uh definitely do get placed on the back pocket as um individuals typically don't really uh emphasize the kingdom of light and because of that they don't really emphasize uh the virtues and the goodnesses and actually killing two birds with one stone they're more focused on the kingdom of darkness and what they're actually doing instead of focusing on the kingdom of light uh, and what the kingdom of light is doing and what they can do as well. So, uh, Jerusalem outward, apply everything that I said and everything that I've mentioned to Jerusalem and outward and use Christ's depths and the depths of the Holy Spirit to actually uh, ensure that you actually stay focused on the kingdom of light as that is your camp. That is how you should obviously be functioning and looking at things that you should not be having any demonic entity on you just because uh, you belong to the heavenly army. Your flag is a heavenly flag uh, and their flag is, uh, uh, would be the word, uh, uh, an earthly flag that is completely carnal and flesh. The spirit is always going to beat the flesh. Greater is he in you than he in the world. Use this truth to your advantage as well as every other truth that I've mentioned uh, and said. As well as keep uh, praying to Christ uh, at all times without ceasing to ensure that you're actually able to perfect your fruits and uh, and your eternal character that we actually able to work uh, the work that you actually have to work to, to reap your uh, heavenly rewards themselves. I think that about wraps it up. Uh, I don't really have much else to say or anything else to actually talk about, but this is the general direction that you honestly should be focused on and should be centered and, and, and ground in. It's only about heaven. Anything contrary to that is just all demonic. Keep thinking about what your heavenly image is actually like. That way this, these things in itself will actually expose all the limitations and demonic interferences and activities in your life itself. As well as just thinking about your heavenly image in itself and all the body parts room and going to heaven and getting new body parts and getting new things of that nature uh, to ensure that you actually give uh, the kingdom of darkness their uh, belongings back to them and you're 100% uh, not suffering unnecessarily because uh, you can so use this truth to your advantage you could go into this body parts room to get whatever you want whatever you need at your leisure and at your this whenever you want it's all up to you and entirely on you now that you're more ground in the truth to use this you obviously have a little more faith uh, to ensure that you actually are able to reap these uh, blessings and graces themselves as well as losing the good spirits inside of yourselves to combat the flesh and to kill two birds with one stone. Use these truths to your advantage as there is no other truths other, other than what I've mentioned. The truth is never changing. There's absolutely nothing that anyone can do to change these truths themselves. Everything else will just be entirely on you and your application and your efforts themselves. So fast, just to ensure that this becomes a habit uh, and it becomes... Um, 
uh, more embedded inside of your heart, your mind, your soul, your will, and your emotions, as well as ensuring to uh, that none of these curses are on you uh, in any of these places, and there's no doorkeeper that is just letting these curses inside of your life in uh, in any of these places as well, and that you actually think about, or even a, a more excellent way, uh, but you actually think about what your life was like before some of these suffrages and some of these ailments, and before you actually had to pray for these deliverances, and before you had to uh, pray in general. As this in itself should expose the demonic activities in your life, uh, as well as now you obviously can think about your heavenly image as well. And for a more excellent way than what is actually what you actually had prior to it. So obviously understand and come to the knowledge that you obviously did something wrong to ensure that that this devil itself could come inside of your life. So it's entirely on you as well as sins of the fathers uh, and other things like that. So uh, repent. Tell God that you're sorry for bringing in the legality. And that's basically about it. Um, because you definitely did do something to deserve that. As well as get rid of all the superstitious uh, demons that are on you. As this in itself, the superstition in itself is you believing a lie. So you doubted the word of God. So I guess that in, in hindsight would kind of be the reason why these devils themselves have more of a legality inside of your life instead of it just being solely on superstition. Fast. Uh, just to have this habit form, you're not going to have much time to do anything else. You're just going to have uh, the only time that you're actually going to have is just to be uh, focused, centered, and, and to be praying uh, about these types of things at all times. As your heavenly image should not at all be different ever from uh, at any time from what your image would be like in heaven right now so if you were to die today what would happen obviously these, these are just things all these suffrages are necessary uh, when you have the legal grounds to break them all and I think that about wraps it up don't let the devils harass you Pray for a more excellent way concerning this and pray to actually learn in the same way the things that you will learn in heaven down here on earth. That way you could actually understand and know the depth of the scriptures themselves. Get rid of Leviathan. Get rid of your childish behaviors. Make sure that heaven and earth look like a mirror with heaven leading. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Uh, now, I pray that the, you have the graces to actually be able to do these works because you're going to need them. Uh, I pray for the graces to be loosed inside of your vessel, uh, for the mercies to be loosed inside of your vessel, for the peace to be loosed inside of your vessel, and for all the good spirits and all the good legions to be loosed inside of your vessels to ensure you don't actually fail and to ensure that you understand that everything is 100% grace and nothing is one is uh, it's zero percent you so I pray that the uh, that the spirits that are actually going to help you and aid you out to actually be doing uh, the work to ensure you reap the heavenly rewards that are actually um, loose inside of your vessel as well as anything that will that is still in there lying dormant uh, be destroyed and uh, be replaced by a good spirit in itself that way you're not actually suffering with any of these uh, just everything is just unnecessary anything demonic and everything demonic is completely unnecessary for anyone in the kingdom of light and use that truth to your advantage and use that truth to take away the authority from and power away from demons witches and everyone in the kingdom of darkness as these individuals use lies to take the authority away from people in the from the people in the kingdom of light, you use the truth to take their authority 
uh, away. So that about wraps it up. Nudge the body of Christ and intercede strategically for the body of Christ. I'll smart the devil's tactics. Uh, as the devil is definitely going to throw tactics at you just because he wants to stop you completely. And tempters and enticements and other things like that that will cause you to be resisted, halted, and prolonged the deliverances. Be sinless on earth as it is in heaven. 